Okay, so uh, here are some details on building a collimator for an LED using just uh, standard PVC parts. So I have a lens from uh, uh, Edmund Optics, and it's uh, 54 millimeter in diameter, and that's great because it's just a little bit bigger than the ID of 2 inch PVC. I've got a coupler, and I've got an end cap, and I drilled a hole in the end, which is the uh, correct uh, diameter for a standard LED. It's about 195 thousandths, and I did this on a lathe, so it's centered, but uh, you can probably eyeball it well enough, especially if you can find uh, a cap that has a little uh, dimple in the center or uh, some sort of marking. Uh, this one doesn't, but maybe others do. So anyway, um, here's a coupler that I use and a ring I cut off of the end of a piece of pipe to make a uh, lens holder. So anyway, the first part, uh, first step is you take this ring and you insert it into your coupler so that there's a nice lip and uh, this will be uh, your lens holder. And this is the lens that I got. It's uh, 54 millimeters in diameter and it has a about a three inch focal length, just about. So this is just gonna be a dry fit. But if you uh, put that together, now you have a nice lens holder on the end of your PVC and it doesn't rattle as all, at all. Uh, then on the back end, I'm just gonna put this together loosely. Here is your collimator, and you can adjust the collimation by moving the, uh, the uh, cap in and out. And uh, I'll show in another video uh, what it looks like when it's collimated. So once you get it all set, you can glue it together, but I found that it's fine just to uh, use a friction fit. So anyway, that's it.